So a new release of Ubuntu is out, and you might be thinking, shall I rush to upgrade? Well first off, let me ask you a question. Does everything work with your computer? Yes? Well, what's the rush? No? Some sort of incompatibility with hardware, or you're getting error messages on your desktop, or something's just not working right? Try it. Maybe the upgrade will work okay. The trouble when new versions of Ubuntu are just released, there can still be bugs and errors with them. So the first lot of people that go and try it out can be the beta testers, we could say. We'll file bug reports and things will then get fixed subsequently. So there's not necessarily a rush to go upgrading straight away because you'll just be part of the bug testing team. That kind of thing goes with anything in computers, be it a new hardware device, new mobiles, new computers, new software, anything like that. So if you are thinking of upgrading, how can you best do it without losing any of the data? Because I can never say an upgrade on Ubuntu will go 100% perfect because when it fails on you, you'll try and hunt me down and shoot me. Damn, Quincy you told me it would work perfectly. <laughs> no, it's not guaranteed. It probably will, but it may not. So you should probably do something about your most precious data. Hmm. What have I got here? Tons of stuff. Hmm, photos. Well, that's pretty much precious to me. Those things just, well, you can't lose photos. Family photos, once they're gone, they're gone. So need to do something about backing those up. Well, I'm not too bad. I've only got um, 11 or nearly 12 gigs worth. My recommendation, if you're trying to back up any of your data, would be to do it to an external hard drive or at least to a flash drive. I've got like a 64 gig flash drive I bought a little while back, that was about £25. And just recently I bought a 128 gig SD card for £30. It's not a huge cost. I'm saying it's not a huge cost, maybe that would just be a month's earnings for you, I don't know. So if you want something cheaper, what could you do? Cloud storage, there's an idea. Google do 15 gigs worth of cloud storage. Or you've got things like Photo Bucket, Imgur, Photos, if you've got precious videos, YouTube, just make them private videos and they won't be shared with the world. There's all things like that. There's ways of doing cloud storage or just small USB flash drives. The ideal one, if you've got a second hard drive, do a full disk backup using Clonezilla. That's my preferred one. There are other backups available. Clonezilla is free. Not the most intuitive of user interface on it though. I have done videos on it. <coughs> Plug. Um. <laughs> it can't blame me. So even this folder here, nearly 100 gigs worth, and that's compressed as well. It's a good option. That's great. Because if your upgrade goes completely wrong, then you just use Clonezilla, and I could unzip that back again, and you know, I could be back up and running within, what would it be, 20 minutes, I think, to re-image that drive. It's not bad, not much downtime at all. Whereas if you lost all your data, then oh, that's quite difficult then to get back, especially if you've managed to format the hard drive, it can be next to impossible. Hmm. As I once found out to my cost, as I lost a couple of videos I hadn't put on YouTube yet, I had to go and redo them entirely. That was a loss that could be redone though and recovered. Anyway. So all in all, work out what's precious to you and find some way of holding on to it. In terms of doing the upgrade though, a couple of options there. Command line, do release upgrade. Well, it's sudo do release upgrade dash D. What are the options for do release upgrade though? Dash help. Gives you a little bit about it. The other one is update manager dash d, I think it is, sudo update manager dash d, but because I'm using Kubuntu, that doesn't work because the update manager is different in Kubuntu. It's moon package manager, and that's all different. I think because I'm on the long-term support release, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that, I just let it run and it does its thing and I don't upgrade like that with Ubuntu. Anyway, so that's one option, so you could upgrade that way and you should keep some of your settings, all of your documents should be there still. Is it the best way of doing the upgrade though? 
probably not because you get little things left behind as packages change and it can accumulate and while you might be okay for one version maybe two or three more versions ahead you find your system just isn't quite as snappy as what it would be of a fresh install. So if you did a fresh install, what should happen is Ubuntu will recognise it as an old version on there and it will offer to upgrade it for you. If it doesn't, you can use the, the manual partition editor in Ubuntu. And I did this video a long time ago, 2011, May 2011. It's quite an old video now and yeah, quality is just not what, quite what it is nowadays. Still 112,000 views, that's uh, quite surprising. Anyway, you can upgrade that way. What are your alternatives though if you don't necessarily need to upgrade? Well, sit on a long-term support release and upgrade some of the programs. That's a good option. And you get security updates like browsers, uh, I think VLC gets updated. Um, if you use Synaptic Package Manager, I'll click that little button there. Anything with the Ubuntu logo next to it is supported post-release of the operating system, so you will receive updates to that. Generally, these are security updates you will receive. But anyway, all those applications there will be kept up to date. So, huh. Even GIMP's on that list. Damn, that was one I was going to show you how to keep updated. Anyway, if you look in Synaptic, type the name of package you're after, and you might find it's kept in check. And that's kind of a bit of a manual method about it. Anyway, it's all going to be manual methods if you want to keep individual packages up to date. Because what you could do is use Launchpad, and as you can see I just searched for GIMP there. Find the actual packages for this, and this can take a bit of searching. I have to know it's, is it this one? No, because the last update was some time ago. Yeah, I'm looking at the last updates on the side there. I think it might be that package there. Right, last updated three weeks ago, so that's a supported package here. Published in trusty Ubuntu 14.04, precise Ubuntu 12.04. Let's see, for precise you could have GIMP 2.8.14. There you go. Is there updates for the likes of LibreOffice? Yes, there probably is. LibreOffice, um, backports PPA, PPA, uh, let me guess. LibreOffice built four weeks ago. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Guessed it right first time. Or have I? Yeah, yeah, I have. I'm sure I have. Um, anyway, that's there. You could go around and do that, but then you may get some breakages doing that. But at least you'll get a solid base to the operating system. The other one is uh, even kernel mainline PPA. So you could use this and update your kernel. There's a video on my channel about that. I uh, don't really want to cover it in this video because it's a bit of um, complicated and I'm going to end up changing my own kernel on this system, which I don't really need to do. So anyway, things like that, I mean, you can get the graphics card drivers through PPAs as well, through repositories. So there's no real reason to rush an upgrade. I could keep this going with the latest packages much longer. And long-term support releases of Ubuntu, and that is 1204, 1404, Next one will be 1604 in 2016. They're supported for five years. There you go. And that's my little bit of advice on it. Well, thanks for watching. See you all later.